Carol, Rod, mi amiga, ¿cómo estás? Estoy increíble. Oh, my goodness. It's so good to see you. Thank you for joining us today. Carol, I'm not sure if you know, but it is Social Work Month. It's March. And so we are celebrating social workers. We're celebrating you. That's right. Uh, the School of Social Work at UNC Charlotte, we are highlighting social workers every day for the month of March. So we're, we're meeting, we're, we're chatting with alumni, with students, with faculty, with community members, with advocates and activists, anybody related to UNCC. I know that you have worked with us before. We've had students who were interns at the schools uh, where you were currently working at. So we are so glad that you said yes to this today. We appreciate you and we want to know a little bit more about you. So the two questions I'm gonna ask, one, if you could share with us what you're currently doing as a social worker, and two, if you can tell us what you feel is the most valuable thing that you've learned about being a social worker. Oh my goodness. Well, primero, fantastic to be here with you. Me alegre, me alegre, me alegre. I'm so happy to be here, parte de la comunidad de trabajo social, the social work community. So um, I am actually a school principal at Collinswood Language Academy. And so I have a focus on management planning and community social work practice. So this is how I'm like a community or macro social worker through an educational leadership lens. So I have two degrees, one uh, within social work and then one as an educational leader. So I see myself as a community social worker who's also a principal. It's pretty awesome. Um, is, that is incredible. Like, <laughs> who would ever think a social worker would be a principal at different schools? Because I know you've been a principal at different schools and we appreciate everything that you've done. Um, you're also an LCSW. So you are, you're like the yes. Swiss Army knife. You're like the Swiss Army knife of social work. So um, yeah, t tell us a little bit about you know, what, what, what's, what's your day look like as a principal, as a social worker in the school? Oh system? my gosh. So, okay. I've been a, a principal for 12 years and a social worker for over 20, 21, 22 plus years as a social worker. Um, gosh, every day I'm using my social work skills. And I think one of the things as a social worker is one, we have that deep undergirding in the code of ethics, this code of ethics distinguishes social work from a lot of other professions, as well as an asset that a asset strength-based perspective. The strengths-based perspective helps us kind of see the positives first. And definitely as a principal working with children, working with children and families um, every single day from different perspectives, different backgrounds, different idiomas, que hablan dos uh, idiomas diferentes, different languages. It's one of those things that um, being a social worker allows us to be trained explicitly in seeing different perspectives, being an active listener. So social work skills are incredibly transferable to the field of education, especially leadership, and being able to navigate the complexities of people, whether it's teachers, students, staff, or community. It's, it's a beautiful gift to be a social worker and an educator. So for all you social workers out there who think, well, can I really do something that doesn't sound like social work, you are proof that you can. A principalship as a social worker, incredible. Carol, can you share with us, as you've learned throughout your years as a social worker, especially in, in education, what's, what's one of the most valuable things you feel like, you know, that fits in about being a social worker? One of the most valuable parts of being a social worker is really being able, I think, to see other people's perspectives and then really being able to have those listening skills because everybody wants to be seen, everyone wants to be heard. And I think social workers were uniquely trained to really try to seek to understand other people's perspectives and then help bring people together um, across differences, whether differences of opinion, background, all the different differences we're able to, to bring folks together. That's right, that's right. Mi amiga, you know me, you know I like to have fun. And so we're gonna have fun right now, okay? Uh oh, me, oh, me. Oh, it's just that I'm scared a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have fun. Here's a fun game that I am doing with all the interviewees. It's called Fab Five in Five Seconds. So you get to name your favorite five things in five seconds. Okay. So this, this, this is a game. Can you do it under five seconds? On my go, favorite five things in five seconds. Are you ready? 
Yes. Are you sitting? Go. Ice cream, exercise, soccer, hablando con tutor, hablando español, and uh, talking with my friends. All right, excellent. That was five. It's a little bit over five seconds, but we'll let it slide. So, Carol, this was this was fun. Muchas gracias, Carol. You, I know you're busy, and just the fact that you said yes, I would love to do this interview, means a lot to me. It means a lot to us. The work that you do in the community as a social worker, it's incredible. We thank you so much. We celebrate you, Carol Rod. We celebrate all social workers this month. It's March. Happy Social Work Month. We hope you have a great day. Happy Social Work Month. Thank you, all you new social workers out there. Thank you for all that you do. We need you. Ciao. Adios.